what is one thing that I like to do to easily enhance my parrot's lives? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon.com today so that you have your handbook to providing a quality life for you, well, for your parrot, so that you and your parrot can then have quantities of bliss. Today, I'm going to tell you about something that may or may not seem easy and obvious, but today, one of the things I did is I set up my, um, some of my parrots that were inside I brought outside. I like to rotate their cages and I like to rotate them around. Basically what I'm after is two things. One, I'm really giving them a change of scenery because out here, of course, they're going to see more natural things. They're going to see some of just the great outdoors get to see birds flying by, things like that. They're gonna hear the noisy neighbor's air conditioner, oh boy. But um, it does give them a change. And the other thing is, it gives them the opportunity to get some fresh air and indirect sunlight. Even though it's indirect, now changing my parrot's cages can be as simple as just moving my parrots, but one of the things that I do is I give them all either nest box or what I call a sleep box. The sleep box is a upside down old box and the box has a stick going across the bottom. It doesn't have a normal bottom. So the next nest box is for the pairs that I'm fine if they mate, and so they can go and rest at the bottom. They can lay eggs or not. The sleep box, since it doesn't have a bottom, it just has a stick, it's a place where they can go in and go up and perch in there so that they can perch somewhere where they feel very comfortable and very rested. Now, I will take a quick break and tell you this is my golden conure, Bonnie Rose. She is just a gem. She's young, so her feathers haven't turned all gold yet. And up there you can see Zeus and Hera was over there. Unfortunately, both of my African greys are pluckers. I adopted them that way as adults. So it's very hard to change that. And so they are still pluckers. In case you noticed that Hera was a little plucked. They're actually to the point where their feathers don't even grow in that well anymore. All right, so um, to change out my birds, in addition to giving me a chance to do a really good cleaning on their cage and kind of make their cages look spotless and brand new in the sense that there's just nothing left. Because if you've ever cleaned a bird's cage before, you know that it's really hard to get the poop off. I mean, like you can go over it and over it and you wash it and you think it's clean and then it dries and there's still stuff on it. So cleaning a, a parrot's cage is a good tricky thing, but I had to take the nest, nest boxes and sleep boxes down. Some of them are really easy because they're just on a hook and they just like hook over the side like that. And so it's just a matter of pulling the hook on, up and down. Others like the upside down boxes, I've had to drill holes in and I have to put together with a bungee or sorry, a zip tie. So I had to cut the old zip ties and then go and position them, find new positions in the new cage and re-zip them. And that's not, that big of a deal, but I do did have to do three because I moved several birds around. And so it was a day of moving birds, trying to rustle birds into the next cage and moving the boxes around. So as you could see though, it's all good and done and it gives everyone a different um, ambiance, a different, a different scenery. And I really like that it also lets them rotate and take advantage of the fresh air, of the indirect light, like I had said, but also of the humidity. Since we live in Florida and it is very humid here, uh, it's actually really good for the parrots, their skin and their feathers. So this way, some of my parrots get a, a chance at being out in the humidity. 
fortunately since it's September it's gonna start to cool down hopefully soon um, and the humidity will decrease but it'll still be more humid than the house and therefore it still gives them a nice change and it's really nice for them to have a change in nature unless they're nesting they may have a territory but they really go to different places all the time, and so they're used to having a change all the time. I mean, they're seeing different things as they're flying around or going here for food. We have some Quakers that are wild who go to a tree across the lake, uh, usually like in the morning, not every day, but clearly they just, this is one of their spots where they go for food. So parrots would see, you know, they would see a lot of things changing, and given that Generally speaking, even if we let our parrots out of their cages, you know, they don't get a lot of scenery change. It's really nice to just give them a different cage, put the cage in a different location, and change things up for them. And so that is exactly what we did for some of our parrots today. Right? Right, Bonnie? Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. Catch you next time.